let's tear down this uh, HKS plus a wireless. I like the idea of what G Wolf's done. In. They're definitely the first ones. So it's supposed to be 36 plus 2. 40. Mm, close ish. Nice. But they haven't used a uh, no screws at the back, the front. Good. I presume it's going to be exactly the same. It's like a slightly different skin. They have rounded them though. Good to be able to tell. It's rounded slightly. It's 60, I think, in the width. I'm going like 50, 59. It's a bit wide at the back. I was on the uh, profile of the button as well. Yep. It'd be nice to have a flatter back on this, for me personally. I was going to fingertip it. And it's not USB-C, which would have been nice, but I think the batch can be that small, it won't matter. Got quite a wide button though. I'm going to scroll in a bit, but. I'm liking on button and mice at the minute, and we, we definitely see more of them as these comfort grooves. So, like, these have got quite aggressive comfort grooves on the MZ1. I really like, I like these comfort grooves. I'm hoping the X2's got some really nice ones, which we'll find out. It's on its way. But uh, yeah, a little bit in this one, a bit more shallower. Yeah, you'd expect it to be a little bit flat, wouldn't you? I'd have thought it'd be a bit flatter, the finger, because if you're holding it far forward, it's just going to dig into your hand, but not for me. Which means you have to hold it further back, which then means you can't get the side buttons very easily. That's, that's going to be a long transition. I know I like to hold mine just under and then like roll my finger. I this thing with some glass feet will be absolutely insane. These feet do look common though. A bit thinner. If that means anything on these screws. Label being transparent. Hundred and eighty milliamp. Well, we can definitely do that battery line. It's got a thirty-three seventy in it though, so this can be thirsty. She's in a square. A square uh, M3, which not overly complicated in this, pretty simple really. So D2FC F K 60mm, call them red, orange maybe. Like the original HKS feels. Snappier, and they got 20 mils, I think. Oh, they got kales in this one. This feels nicer, though. It's might have kales in this, actually. Some of them tear down. We got some micro little screws in it. <laughs> they call them mini shy buttons. Pretty standard design to shrunk down. 0.7 grams. 
close. Nice and light though, half a gram. It's like three different types of screws. Yeah, there. So we've got two outer clips here. This little clip, one on the other side. So we did see a little bit of movement in left to right in here. But they've tried to brace it and stuff, you can see that there. Um, so it's unusual to see movement. Tried to hollow out the plastic a little bit. Mm, 12 grams on that main shell, okay. Right, interesting, you got four screws in here. Don't know why they put four in it. I want to put four in it, actually. Let's get the battery out first. So we've got a two pin battery, which all the modern ones are running three pin for temperature. Um, also, it's 3370 sensor, um, which normally are running three pin, so yeah, interesting. Got another screw. Ooh. What have we got there? We got four, five screws in the PCB here. One, two, three, or five. That's a lot for that size mouse. Damn. Right, oh, come on. The marshmallow. Here is the battery. So 3.7 volt, 180 milliamp, pretty standard, two pin. Um, with the, I think it's got a smaller 1.25 connector, I can't remember. Um, seen them around. Um, you've got the Connector here for the side buttons. I wish um, Final Mouse had done something like that on their side buttons. They were trying to save weight by changing the connector, but gluing it down was probably not a great idea from them. But yeah, I like the side button design. It's pretty nice. You've got the nice solid mounting points. Good connector on the PCB. Not bad. Hawano ones. Everyone seems to be using apart from Logic these Hawano side buttons at the minute. Look. Don't know why. It must be cheap. They also have the straight ones. That's probably one of the tiniest PCBs you've seen. <laughs> Micro. Under a gram for that. Okay. I've definitely tried to keep the weight down on this puppy. There's a little ribbon cable as well. Well, the tiniest ribbon cable. Different screws, it's got one, two, three, four different types of screws. They've gone for different components here. They're using the Omron red ones and a TTC gold. No one's using the TTC gold, they're normally using TTC white. Um, looks like a 7mm as well. We'll find out. Also, they're making these scroll wheels extra tight to get out. 
Oh god, I've got the power button down here. And it looks like they've drilled, which is cool. We'll have to get the weight out of it. So, you're not going to get anything out of that PCB. Oh, it's tight. Bad little scroll wheel in terms of the feel. Just a gram, then just over. Not bad. CB. So I said first one to see on run. Red 60mm on these TTC uh, gold encoder. Like you can't get them, just people don't generally install them as default. Nice to see they've drilled it. Pretty nice. CB, they must be using that. I'd be surprised if they're using anything heavier. Yeah. So it's using a uh, PAW3370DM, it looks like. And the MCU is a Compex Tech CX52850. There she is.